Hello and welcome to the first episode of The Revolution Man, A Life's Journey. I am Jason Blason and these videos are going to be about my, my struggles, my ups, my downs, and everything in between about being on this new journey of raising four boys uh, by myself. I'm hoping that these videos not only help me get through my daily struggles, my feelings, but I'm hoping that others who are dealt a similar situation can, I don't know, just take courage and strength in knowing that they're not alone out there, that there are others who are dealing with the exact same thing. I didn't know what today's episode was going to be like because I, I mean, this is really calling it day one. Obviously, it's been about a week and <clears throat> the emotional roller coaster I've spent over the last week is, oh, it's unexplainable, really. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think everybody who could be in a similar situation is going to feel those highs, those lows, those those what ifs. I wish I, I do a lot of wishing. I wish I would have listened. I wish I would have put a better effort sometimes in on things. But um, I have to accept what's here and now, and roll with the punches and move on and just do what's best. Does my heart hurt? Absolutely. Is there a small part of it still yearning? Absolutely. Like, I think that's a natural thing, and it comes without saying. Um, it's just something that you've got to navigate through, and I haven't been able to navigate through all of it yet. Do I feel better about life right now? Absolutely. Um, just with the outpouring support I've received from friends, family, all corners, all walks of the globe. It's it's made me realize that I have an impact out there. I've still got a lot left in the tank, and maybe life going forward is just going to look a little different for me. And that's cool. Um, I'm going to be all right with it. I'm going to struggle to be all right with it, to be honest with you. I think anybody would. I think uh, when you've put so much time and and spent nearly, you know, half or more of your adult life with somebody, it's a struggle to, to kind of navigate afterwards, especially <clears throat> if things didn't go down very well. Not everybody's going to have that experience. Like, I know that there are plenty of people who have been able to go down that road and just, you know, mutually take care of business the way they need to. And that's great. It works really well. Uh, some situations aren't afforded that opportunity. And, yeah, it creates a little bit more emotion. It creates a little bit more anger. And as a guy like myself, I I struggle navigating through all of that. The last 24 hours have probably been the happiest I've been in some time. And the radio just went out. <laughs> um. Uh, happy, uh, the, the happiest I've been in the last week. Um, I just started to really feel good about life. I'm accepting a lot of things, and I'm moving forward and making a lot of changes. Um, you know, I'm putting my phone down more. I'm not, I'm not going to be on social media. I'm not going to have my phone in my pocket. When I get home, it's going to go on the charger, and, and that's where it'll stay. I... I have a, a lot of focusing on tasks around the house, everyday cleaning the dishes, putting laundry away, you know, making sure the boys are pulling some weight, dinner, bedtimes, you name it. There's so much that I have to do now, and I'm all right with it. You know, I, I, I like playing games, I like playing video games, and, and that's fun, but... I think more than ever right now, I want to 
focus a little bit more on family because it's helping me get through. The boys have been the, my saving grace. Without them, I I don't want to think about the dark holes or, or anything that I could have went down. Um, because it's scary. It really is. Like, let's face it. Let's be real here. This whole thing is really scary for me. I'm I'm deathly afraid of all of this because I've never experienced it, and there's a lot of unknown looming over things, and it's just. Those are some of the struggles you have to deal with every day and keep, you got to keep positive. You got to keep that smile going for your kids, but you know, take time for yourself. Go have a cry. I have spent the last week <laughs> crying a lot and you know, it's, it's part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Water. Um, it just, it, it helps you know, to get it out, that's part of, you know, getting the emotions out. Um, I've spent many of nights over the last week waking up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning just writing my feelings down, writing the thoughts in my head down because they they had me so emotionally tied up and I think that helped me a lot. Um, it's something I've never really done a whole heck of a lot, but it made me feel good. Um you know, I, I get up every morning and I pray for strength for both myself and my kids. But more importantly, I, I still pray for their mother. And that's not me being boastful about it. These are the internal changes that, that have just struck me, like, as of late, um, and I just, I pray for, you know, God to, to be in her heart and just so that she has something, you know, watching over her and, and taking care of her. Because, you know, you're never going to stop caring. They're always going to have that special place in their heart for your heart. Blah, they're always going to have a special place. And blah, they are always going to have a special place in your heart. Um, there, spit that one out. But, you know, there, there's a lot of things I've started to do. I, like I said, I've cut the social media down tremendously. Um, I, I feel like I've detoxed enough from Facebook. Um, I don't have it on my phone anymore. I have it logged in at work on my computer just so that I can post during the early morning hours just any of my stuff for wrestling that I want to post. That's really all I want to use it for, and that's going to be, you know, limited. Um, I've really slowed up to almost not at all on my drinking, you know, um, that's a health thing that I really want to stress. It's not anything more than that. Maybe, you know, I needed to take a break and I need to stick with it. And that's what I'm going to do. I, I can easily have one beer and be okay, but I'm not really ready to, be at that level of enjoyment yet because I want to keep my mind clear. Um, same kind of goes for weed. I mean, I still smoke a little bit here or there. Not, I still smoke, but it's it's something I can put away and and I don't think about it. Um, I think it's helped that I've rearranged my room a little bit with some of that stuff, and I just I'm not looking at it. It's not right there, and I'm trying to again focus more on other tasks in the house to do besides all of that stuff. Uh, I think that's helping me feel a little bit better. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of plugging away every day. So today, I would say today's been a pretty good day so far. Obviously, it's only noon, and I don't, I don't have a whole grasp of what's going on. But uh, I wanted to take the time right now and get a lot of these things off my chest and put them out there and hopefully you know tomorrow maybe i'll wait until later in the day um and deliver some messages just so that i have a whole day's worth of things to to really drive home about today was more or less just kind of opening the door and uh giving you guys an opportunity to check this out and hopefully you know it doesn't matter if 
one person or 1,000 people see this video, if it has any kind of impact on anybody and helps them, then I've done my duty. So with that, you know, there used to be an old thing that I used to say on the other videos, and since we're not doing that anymore, I can't say it, and I'm not going to. But this right here, this is the end of day one. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.